Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, we're gonna take a look at Lucifer from Cinderella. And the description for Lucifer is that he will clear random zooms as well as the zooms in the center. And the ability is just like that. Lucifer will go to the center of the screen and then a bunch of other random zooms will clear around it as well. Now let's take a look at his stats. In order for you to activate his ability, you will need to clear a total of 14 copies of Lucifer. His minimum score is 170 with a maximum score of 905. So that's pretty good for minimum score, but for maximum score, not that great. But honestly, you wouldn't be using Lucifer for score anyways, so you could kind of ignore this factor. Now if you do want to max Lucifer up to skill level 6, you'll only need to get 29 copies of him, so that's actually really good. For the output what you'll get for Lucifer, 29 copies is actually not bad. So for that reason, I think Lucifer is a pretty decent zoom because it's kind of inexpensive to get to skill level 6. And as you level up Lucifer to the different skill levels, every time you level him up, the blast radius will get a little bit bigger for the center area, as well as additional zooms that he clears at the very end will increase. Now, some of the strategy to using Lucifer is that you want to make sure that you have a lot of zooms in the center of the screen before you actually activate the ability. You want to avoid any gaps in the middle for the, um, for the main blast. Don't worry too much about the random zooms that's going to clear. The number that you'll get will always be that fixed amount. So for skill level 1, you'll always be guaranteed 5. And if you are able to get him to skill level 6, you're always going to be guaranteed 15 additional zooms that will be cleared. Now they might not necessarily be on the screen, but they'll be around it. Now let's also do a side-by-side -side comparison between all three of the skill levels at skill level 1, 2, and 3. And like I mentioned, the difference between these three skill levels is that the blast radius will be bigger and there'll be additional random zooms that will be clear. So there's actually two benefits of using Lucifer and uh, it's pretty good. So far, I'm actually really enjoying using Lucifer and it's a very simple zoom to use. You just got to make sure you wait until the screen is full before you activate it. Uh, from my experience, it has been worth it to just give it a couple of seconds to make sure that the zooms are full in the center before activating the ability. Because when you just spam it, there are times where you're blasting very minimum zooms in the middle and you're forfeiting a lot of coins. So if you're using Lucifer for coins, then you definitely want to make sure that the center area has a lot of zooms before activating it. So let's move on to taking a look at the ability itself and just focusing in on how it actually works. So what I'm going to do here is activate Lucifer's ability all at the same time so you can see a side-by-side -side comparison. Like I mentioned before, he will jump to the center of the area and then a bunch of zoom gets cleared in the middle. But what I want to bring to your attention is that the random zooms that will get cleared, sometimes it's off the screen, but we'll count towards that final chain amount. And as you can see that there are going to be one-off zooms around the area that gets popped. Now this number will count towards the total chain at the very end when all the zooms are burst. At skill level 1, I got 19. At skill level 2, I got 23. And at skill level 3, I got a total chain of 25. Now this is important because the longer the chain, the more coins you're actually going to earn. And speaking of coins, I'm going to fast forward to the very end of the game here to show you what my coin earnings were for this particular gameplay. And at skill level 1, I got 1,229. At skill level 2, I got 1,790. Skill level 3, 1,804. I am playing these three gameplays with the 5-4 and the coin boost on, so I am spending 2,300 coins for each of these games. So with that in mind, it may not necessarily be great for coins at skill level 3 and below, but anything above that could be good. So that's pretty much it for Lucifer. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to scroll down and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. And as always, thank you so much for watching.